Hello my colleagues and this is a new math lesson. Adding rational numbers. So how can the number be a rational one? So any number can be rational if it represents a ratio, a ratio between two integers a and b, where b is the denominator with which doesn't equal zero, like for example 3 over 4 17 over 45, 101 over 585, and this term was first uh, to be released by the Italian mathematician Giuseppe Piano. If I ask you to add 2 and 3, you start by saying 2 plus 3 equals 5. Surely you know that it is 5. But if I asked you to do another operation to minimize this 5, you want to get 5 over 7. Of course you think to, uh, to multiply 2 plus 3 all by 1 over 7, which can be distributed into these parentheses like saying 1 over 7 times 2 plus 1 over 7 times 3, or in other words 2 over 7 plus 3 over 7 which equals 5 over 7. Look, we have here a note, which can be that in, this, in the case of having the same denominator, we add numbers in the denominator easily, like 2 over 7 plus 3 over 7, we fix this 7 at the denominator and add 2 plus 3 easily to get 5 over 7. What if we have another case, rather than case 1 of having the same denominator? We have two different denominators, 1 over 18 and 1 over 12. 12 and 18 is not the same number. So how can I add to these rational numbers? First, I look to for something common between 18 and 12. I know that 18 is equal 3 times 6, and 12 is equals to 2 times 6. So if we discard this 6, we have 2 and 3. So 2 is odd to 18, and 3 is odd to 12. So I multiply each term by the, uh, the odd one in form of 2 over 2 and 3 over 3. Look, 2 over 2 and 3 over 3 both equals 1. So multiplication by 1 doesn't change the quantity of the number. So uh, it's like uh, reforming the numbers in another case. Like here, 2 over 36, sure we know it is 1 over 18. And 3 over 36 actually equals 1 over 12. So here I can rephrase these numbers to have a common denominator and add easily to get 5 over 36. So both cases, 2, 1 and 2, were sophisticated somehow. Let's uh, turn to the general one. What if we doesn't have a common denominator or a common factor between the denominators, like having 2 over 5 plus 3 over 7 uh, must equal a rational number. But the denominator of this rational number, uh, how can I get it? How can I get the numerator and the denominator? It's easily like saying it's equal to 2 over 5 times 1 plus 3 over 7 times 1. Because actually 5 equals 5 times 1 and also for 7. So 7 is odd to 5 and 5 is odd to 7. So we will do the same in case 2 like multiplying by 7 over 7 or by 5 over 5 because the poses are equal 1. So it's equals to saying 14 over 35 plus 15 over 35, which equals 29 over 35. This is case 3 and the most general case, popular one. We can use it in any case, uh, uh, if, even if we have a common denominator, but this makes it easier. And now, we reached the end of our lesson. So stay tuned and wait for us.